Welcome to this video by Just Jess. I'm missing a kitchen appliance and I want you to guess what it is. So right here is my refrigerator. Over back there is my oven. Over this way is my mixer and a toaster. And over there is my microwave. And I think I mentioned my refrigerator already. So those are the kitchen appliances I have. Can you guess which one is missing? Yeah, that's right. I don't have a dishwasher. And in most homes, the dishwasher would be uh, probably right about this area right here where all these dishes are sitting. And I live in an old country home that's over 100 years old. And it was never set up to have a dishwasher in here. And so they've never, um, the landlords never took the steps to install one. And the funny thing is that I have, when I was growing up and when I lived with my parents, they always had a dishwasher. And I visited my cousin once and she didn't have a dishwasher because she was uh, staying in an older home too. And I thought to myself, what in the world would you do if you didn't have a dishwasher? And so I got married and my husband found this place and we've been running here for the last 11 years. And so I have had to make do without a dishwasher. Um, so yeah, pretty much I just do it the old fashioned way. Um, wash rags and scrub brushes and then set it out over here and then I dry it. And uh, I think I'll put on a little time lapse and you can see how, how that goes for me. But anyway, the other thing that this house doesn't have is a pantry. Um, and it's funny, when we got married, uh, when I first saw this house, I complained of the lack of storage and my husband, he always tells this jokingly how I complained there wasn't any closets. But as far as my uh, food storage goes, down here, this, um, I think it's called a Lazy Susan. I have some space there and then I have, you know, I have some cabinets, but I keep a lot of uh, plastic and bowls and cups and stuff up there too. So that's, yeah, let me give you an overview shot of my kitchen. This is, I mean, the nice thing is it's a fairly big kitchen for uh, being a country, old country home. But this room over here, um, if it was a pantry, but it's not, it actually goes down to the basement. And then here's the rest. This door here just goes back out to the rest of the house. Here's the back porch. And pretty much that summarizes my kitchen. Um, and actually outside of our house, just on the other side of this wall, there is an old wooden building that used to be a summer kitchen. And so they would do a lot of their cooking and canning uh, outside back in the day. And that kept the home from getting extremely hot, which was a really smart idea. And um, it's run down and I don't have the opportunity to use that anymore. So a lot of times I just close off that door behind me and I just cook uh, and let it get really hot and humid in here. And then I can open some windows and stuff and it doesn't bog down the air conditioner or anything like that. So this is an overview of my uh, old country kitchen and I will do a time lapse of me doing dishes. All right, got my dishes all finished up. My sink is empty, as you can see back there. Uh, that'll only last a couple of hours as we're just about an hour out from dinner time. And my little munchkins here, they sneaked in while I was washing dishes and they just wanted to be in the video for a moment. So that's why you saw them at the end of the time lapse there. But anyhow, um, if you wanna see more vlogs like this, make sure to check out my channel banner as I will have my posting schedule there and more videos about family stuff and homeschooling and living in the country and a little bit of everything. So anyway, um, we will catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.